good afternoon my dear student that today i discuss some important questions that it uh, you from the chapter 2 in the geography book that is the chapter 2 is about the population dynamics now if these questions are very important from the chapter and you have to be learned and one thing you have to listen properly that those are the questions that is given that like the overpopulation underpopulation and what the causes of overpopulation underpopulation that the minister student asked me also that how to write sir so you have to be remember one thing that you should try to write with the using sub point that way you have to write the causes of overpopulation underpopulation either impact positive negative impact okay so all as you have to try to write by with the using the sub point this is a very important okay now that last time we discussed you that about the what is population what is the population dynamics now there are few questions that you have to be learned that is a what are the factors that affect the size of population what are the factors like the first one is the birth rate second one is the death rate third one is the natural growth rate and fourth one is the migration what is the birth rate that how many childs are born in the per thousand children per thousand people that is called the birth rate and now what is the death rate that how many percent they will die in that particular we are particular place in per thousand people that is called the death rate now what happen if the birth rate is increase in one place that is automatically of that region the population also increase if the death rate increase the population of that place will decrease the third point is natural growth rate what is the natural growth rate now the difference between the birth rate and death rate is known as the natural growth rate okay and the last that is about migration what is a migration that always people especially in our country india the people always they have to migrate from one place to another place so this movement of the people from one place to another place is known as the migration and the migration is divided into the two part what are the two part that is the first one is the immigration and the second one is the this one is a very important the first one is the immigration and second one is the emigration first one means the enter when the peoples are enter in one place after the migration when the peoples are enter in one place that is called immigration and when the peoples are exist if for exist that when the people leave one place and they went to another place that is called the immigration okay but when this migration in soccer that time it does not change the world population you know for what it can change the city population country population it can be but the world population due to the migration it not change because all the people they have to migrate from one country to another country from any place to another place but soccer inside the world that is why the world population does not change due to the migration but the country city town village their population can be changed due to the migration process now here we have to read what is the population explosion that when the sudden increase of population of that of any area that is called the population explosion now what are the what is the population explosion the what is the population density you know that what is the population density that is the how many people are live in per square kilometer how many people or person can live in per square kilometer they are known as the population its population density distribution or population density now this population density there are three types what are the three types the first one is the high population density second one is moderate population density and the third one is the low population density so what is the high population density if the number of people in one place more than 500 more than 500 people in one place you have to remember that more than 500 people they are live in one place that is called the high population density area and what is the moderate population density that where the population is 100 to 500 percent per square kilometer that is called the moderate population density per square kilometer that is called the moderate and the which one is the less than there is a less than 100 this type of percent per square kilometer this type of population is known as the low population density area now from seeing here we can say what are the different types of population density so population density are three types 
high population density, moderate population density, and the low population density. High population density means where the number of people shall live more than 500 percent per square kilometer. That is called the high population density. What is the moderate population density? Where the number of people shall live from the 100 to 500 percent per square kilometer. That is called the moderate population density. And the last one is the where the low population density, where the number of people shall live less than 100. This type of population density is known as the low population density. Okay. Now after that, the different reasons for the for the population distribution, like the, you have to read, like the physical factors, like the landform, climate, okay, layer, uh, those are the water supply. These are the different factors that is affected of the region that the population distribution that I already discussed in my previous classes. And the non-physical factors also being affected, such as the government policy, religious place, okay, the transportation, communication, or the people, they are better when people they are they're living better areas. So these are the things, those are the cultural things, not the non-physical things, it also being affected too. So from this physical part, physical factors and the non-physical factors, at least you have to fold four point from each. Don't forget it. What are the causes for the distribution of population that from the physical factor any four point and the non-physical factor any four point that have to be learned with their sub point. With their sub point, you have to give that a when a quality I have to when teach this all the things I already given in the sub points. So according to this sub point that you have to be right this answer. Okay? So today I'll be here. Next day we discuss the